Your time is valuable. That's why you need a Hagee STS application system. Hagee STS products are designed for precision and efficiency, allowing you to make applications all season long with just one machine. Contact your Hagee rep today. Our Weed of the Week is bull thistle. Well, when you think about thistle control, most of the time we're talking about grasslands. And, you know, when we look at something like bull thistle, it's a biennial, which means it has a two-year life cycle. Now, if you're normally controlling annual weeds on your farm and you say, well, what's the big deal about a biennial? Why does that make it tougher to control or different to control than an annual weed? Well, here's a couple of things that you need to know. First of all, with most biennials, what you're going to see, you know, like a bull thistle, for example, you're going to see the first year of growth being a rosette. It's going to stay low to the ground. It's going to kind of grow in a circular shape. You're going to see those regular leaves like you'd see on bull thistle. It's just you aren't going to have that big shoot that goes up with the flower on top. This is the best time to control bull thistle. If you can get them in that rosette stage, you can get nice coverage across those leaves with your herbicide. Uh, you can wipe it out root and all if you choose the right product and we'll talk about those products here in just a second. Uh, this is great because you don't have the risk of it going to seed. Once you get into year two, what happens is all the energy that it saved up in year one from that rosette stage, it's put all that energy down into the root system. And now in year two, it's going to shoot what they call the bolt stage up. That's where you see that big tall stem coming up out of your bolt thistle and it's going to have the seed heads up top. Once you have those seed heads out there, yes, you can kill the weed. That's fine. But if it's already going to seed, you can hurt the germination a little bit on some of the seeds but you're not going to stop every one of them now you've got a bunch more seeds out there you're going to have even more of a problem going forward so with a biennial like bull thistle again you want to try and hit it the first year if you possibly can yeah but the whole thing is and the reason why we're talking about this today is you've got to do it pretty soon here a lot of people will think oh fall is the best time to kill thistles that's not true at all in the northern part of the country late summer is the best time here's why if you get a hard killing frost let's say mid-september that that's technically before fall has even hit, okay, and then it's too late. Once you've got that hard killing frost, you're not going to get enough down into the root system very well and completely kill it. Yeah, you can ding it up. Yeah, you can burn off the top growth, but what good does that do you with a biennial plant that's not even going to seed yet anyway? We want to actually kill this thing. So you probably in the northern part of the country need to spray in late August or early September at least two weeks before your first hard killing frost. That's the key. So we think about products, 2,4-D is one that a lot of people will jump on, but that's just going to burn off the top growth. We want something that's going to get down into the root system, something that contains Tordon or Milestone. Both those products are highly effective on thistles and they will kill the plant roots and all. Yep, Milestone is the best though and Milestone isn't as hard on trees and it can also be used by almost anybody because Milestone is not restricted use whereas Tordon is. Well once again our Weed of the Week was Bull Thistle. That's all the time we have for this week's weed but stay tuned Iron Talk is coming up next.